Well, good morning and uh, welcome back to the cabin. So the sun is just starting to come up. I'm just getting my morning coffee. Um, and this is where I like to come in the morning. You know, these are apple trees that I just planted two years ago. Um, and they were just little dinky things, even the ones back here. And I'm really proud of the fact that they are up and producing apples. There's even a nice set of apples here. Um, I've kind of tried to keep them picked off. Here's a nice set here. And I've tried to keep them picked back a little bit because these trees are really too small to produce a huge crop. But I'm really liking the fact that I'm getting them to produce apples and I'm putting in the work and, and I'm keeping them pruned back properly so that they'll produce a crop for me in the future. But today's video, I want to share with you a vision. So I like to say, live life with a vision, not a dream. Um, and I think that it's important to understand where those visions are coming from. See, God will show you the best parts of your life, but he'll never harp on the bad stuff. He, he wants to, to influence us and give us hope for the future. And, but with that, I'm telling you, he expects us to work. He expects us to work to achieve the vision he gives us. So I'm going to take you down to the tiny cabin and, and share with you a little vision that I got and, and how we're going to, we're going to work toward that vision. And, and that's what I'm going to call this video, working toward the vision. You know, that's kind of how I live my life now with the cabin that I've built and with life in general is seeking answers and then working toward them. Um, you know, God's mighty and God's powerful and, and, and he, wants to, he wants the best for you, but he expects you, and listen to me, he expects you to work for it. He, he's, he's a gifter for sure. He'll give, you, he'll give you everything you want, but he expects you to put in your part too. So in this video, we're putting in our part. So let's go down to the tiny cabin and I'll explain to you the vision, which of course is in the future. This hasn't happened yet. Um, but I know it will, but I have to do my part. So let's go down to the cabin. All right. Hey, a lot of time in the mornings, what I like to do, it, it's really chilly out this morning and I've got my coffee and I kind of just roam around the property and you know, like I was saying earlier, take care of the trees. And, and what I want to share with you this morning though, is my vision. So as I walked through here and I'm, and I'm getting a good look at the tiny cabin, I got this vision of me as Johnny Appleseed sitting on the front porch of the tiny cabin. And I was having a very meaningful conversation with a young gentleman. And, and I'm, I'm talking like eight, 10 years old. So in my little community, I play this part as Johnny Appleseed. And that's the whole reason I built this tiny cabin. I built this tiny cabin as a teaching tool for the kids for the future. So each year, Last year was our first year. I just built it last summer. This cabin goes downtown and it becomes the centerpiece of the Johnny Appleseed Festival. It's Johnny Appleseed's home. Um, so I take these visions pretty dang seriously because for me, they are God showing me my future. Not, and you have to understand, he's not predicting the future, he's there. He's there looking at that moment. So here's what we're doing today. We are going to, as you can see, there's no front porch. There's a front porch roof, but no front porch. For this video, we are going to build a front porch. Now, this is what I wanna tell you too. When God shows you a path, when he gives you a vision, if it's him, he's going to provide. He's going to provide everything you need to do the job. Just the last, like a week ago, I was given an entire load of logs before the vision. So I've got a whole load of logs in the driveway that I really didn't have any clue what I was gonna do with. I was probably gonna build some more shelves for the basement or whatever, but now I can see it. Now I'm like, uh-huh, that's what they were for. So, and then knowledge. God provides knowledge when it comes to like building a log cabin. Man, I tell you what, I've shared so much with you guys on my YouTube channel. None of it's me. Like this project, this channel, even this demeanor on screen, I'm a really shy, if you talk to anybody from my past, this is not who I am. This is my new life. This is my new me. 
So, so I'm really embracing this opportunity to live life to its fullest, to live, you know, people say that I'm living their dream. And to be quite honest, I, I've never dreamed like that. I've, I've always just lived my life. I've never really had dreams of the future. So I'm really embracing the fact that I get to live day by day, but live it to its fullest. So when I talk about this vision, I want you to know that there are very distinctive, very distinctive points about it. Um, you know, it was, it was on the, as you look at it, it was on the right-hand side of the cabin, not the left. I could almost see the child. So, I mean, I can see the child, but I could almost make out who it is. So this is what will happen. I, I'll do my part and then I'll wait for God. And this is what I love about a small community. Billy, the man that works at the tire shop, one of my YouTube subscribers, had noticed that I was dragging logs on the ground and he had a log dolly that wasn't being used. He was mowing around it and it was just sitting there. You know, that thing is at my house now. No money, no. Matter of fact, I told him the other day when I went down to get a tire fixed, I said, you know, you just let me know. You let me know when you need it back and I'll make sure you get it back. And he said, you know what? I'm hoping I never need that thing. I'm hoping I never need it. That thing is too much work. So anyway, thank you, Billy. So anyway, hey, let's get busy. All right. Man, is that thing gonna save me a lot. Because I'm not gonna be dragging my logs as much on the ground, I'll be less likely to pick up dirt and gravel. Um, plus the effort of the tractor to, to move them and be able to back them up because they're not dragging on the ground. Uh, I really do appreciate, <laughs> I really do appreciate it because I've worked so hard uh, without it. So um, here we go. We've almost got it. There we go. So basically we got it cradled in the chains. The hook really isn't doing anything now. So let's get this baby fired up and get it moved over to the mill. Might as well put it back over at the log pile. That's where I need it at next. These brakes work so nice. It's good for now. It's really not heavy at all, so. Try it there. And I picked I picked these up at the Rogers sale. 25 bucks. So what a deal that was. Morning, babe. So here's Lavender. She's 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 around. She's just been a little bit little bit off camera all morning, but but she never leaves my side too far. She's my girl, huh? 
what she's saying is it's almost time for breakfast. Huh. Almost time for breakfast. Huh. I love you, baby. I love you, baby. Yeah. She's my girl, huh? I know. I know. Let me get this log on there first, okay? Let me get the log on. You need to stay back, okay? Good girl. That's good. That's good. Right there. Sit. Good girl. You're showing them how good you are. You're okay. You're okay. Sit down. You're okay. You got this. Okay, that wasn't bad at all. Now just to get it scooted up some. <clears throat> she doesn't have a clue that you all are sitting right there uh, watching me. So she's kind of curious who I'm talking to. Oh, babe. Sit. That's a good girl. What a beautiful lady you are. What a beautiful lady. Yeah. What a beautiful lady. Huh. We'll have to take you to the creek in a little bit. We haven't taken them to the creek yet. We have to take them to the creek someday, huh? Show them the creek we like to go for walks in. Oh, we would take them to the creek, huh? Okay, let me get my work done. And of course, Archie's here. Come on, bud. Archie's out in the morning too. He uh, He's a morning kitty and he likes his attention. So what do you think, Arch? Come on. Good, good boy. That's a good boy, Archie. Okay, you want to see something really cool? Um, so, my neighbor, and I'm standing by the camera because I got this camera on him. My neighbor is out weed whacking his yard. And Lavender loves, listen, Lavender loves Jimmy. You see Jimmy? So, at first command, she will take off and go see him. So, oop, maybe no command. There she goes. She's on her way. She's going to see Jim. She's been watching you, Jim. Go on, go see your Jim. Go on, go see your Jim. She's been sitting down there watching you. So I started to shoot a video because I'm shooting a video. And uh, and I was like, at first command, she'll take off and go see Jim. And, and she heard me say that, and she was gone. <laughs> okay, you got your fix. Time to go home. <laughs> okay, let's go. Go, girl. Let's go. Home. You want to go see Jimmy again? <laughs> She's like, I want to see more, more Jim. Okay, let's go. Let's go home. Come on. Hup. Let's go. She's feeling better, Jim. Oh, yeah. All right, say goodbye. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Home. Come on, let's go. Home. She just loves her Jimmy. She just loves her Jimmy, don't you? What a good girl. What a good girl. Okay, you stay home now. Got what you got, huh? What you got? What 
this is. Go get it, go get it, go get it. Tell you what, just come down. Okay, man, I'm much happier with this as of now. Um, Okay, um, well, I'm done. All except for the decorating, hanging lanterns and those things, all finished up. So what I wound up doing since the last I checked in with you was I changed the color of the cabin a little bit as well. I really didn't like that super, super dark. It wasn't quite as natural as I'd like. So anyway, um, that's all for now until I get this thing put over there. Um, give me a second and I'll back out the camera and you'll see what's over there. Okay, over there is my float for the parade. Um, our class reunions this weekend, by the time you see this, the class reunion will be over. 
Um, and for my class, class of 1991, I promised that I would build the float and that I would put this tiny cabin on a float. So I've spent a couple days getting the, the front yard portion of that done, and now it's time to move this cabin over onto the float. Okay, finally, the float is done. So for those of you that don't know, this is our all school reunion weekend, also 4th of July weekend, Independence Day. So I don't think anything says independence or um, I graduated in the 90s more than what you're looking at right here. Um, we went to shop class. We didn't skip it. We still had shop class. Um, we paid attention in shop class. It was our favorite class. Um, here we go. Let's take a look. So, I've got, of course, I got the farm all cub. Um, all of the railing for the front yard was trees just this morning. My flag was a tree too in the woods. I just cut the tree down and made it for a flagpole. I'll back her up a little bit, a little bit more. Of course, I got a front gate. The whole yard is fenced in. I got the, the weight sitting on the tractor now. The tiny cabin. Get me a couple rocking chairs up here. The front yard. Now I could see that going down through a parade, huh? <laughs> 